This is a site that we will <laughs> rarely if ever see again. Looks like we're finally basically done. So beautiful and clean out here. It's been two days now. I'm back out here and as you can see, it's a whole different situation. Let's see what happens when we pull this lid up here. Let's check this one out. What is this white stuff? And no, I'm not up north. I am right here in Southeast Alabama, Midland City to be exact. And we are at the beginning of an historic snowstorm uh, in this area. Very rarely does snow even accumulate here. Occasionally we'll have a little dusting, but really does it actually snow, big, nice, heavy flakes and stick to the ground for any length of time. People up north are probably laughing at me right now, but it's pretty cool for us down here. I thought I'd take just a minute and describe a little bit about what happens in a, in a beehive uh, when it gets really cold. Um, obviously bees survive winter time, even up north where it does get extremely cold. In order for them to survive, they need to have a decent cluster size and some food in the colonies. But what they do is they just kind of uh, cluster up in a, in a ball of bees. They call it a cluster of bees and they, they vibrate their wings somehow and they generate heat. And in the middle of that cluster will be the queen and she'll stay nice and warm and the bees around her will keep her warm and they will be able to survive the wintry conditions um, from what I understand, maybe some of the older bees uh, hang out on the outside of the cluster. I'm not sure about that. Or maybe they rotate through the cluster somehow to stay warm. I don't know how it works. But I do know that, that it is a little bit crazy to think that those little bugs in a box could survive something like this and even worse storms up north. And it's getting pretty cold out here, so I may have to hop in the truck and get back to the house before the roads get too icy. One of the issues down here is since we never have snowstorms like this, or very rarely, they don't have the equipment or the tools to keep the roads nice and safe. And so, you know, it was pretty wet driving over here. Uh, right now, when I pulled in here, it was right at 32 degrees with a nice snowstorm going. It's supposed to drop down into the teens tonight. So obviously, if the roads get wet and then it freezes, they can become very slick and unsafe. And they just don't have the salts or the different products to put on the roads or the snow plows to be able to keep the roads clear. And so everybody just kind of hunkers down, if, if at all possible, during a storm like this. See the beehives back here, there's some snow accumulating on the top of them. It's beautiful, fluffy snow, and it's kind of fun. So I just thought I'd share with you what's going on here in southeast Alabama at this, on this uh, crazy cold January 21st of 2025. I'm going to flip this thing around and kind of walk around and show you the hives, and then I'm going to get in my truck and head to the house. So real quickly, we have probably a little over an inch accumulated of snow, beautiful powdery snow. I did live in Utah for a while, so I've been around snow before, but it's just so rare down here. It's pretty cool. And here's the Midland City Bee Yard. This is a site that we will <laughs> rarely, if ever, see again. Isn't that cool? So beautiful and yet so cold. Just after eight o'clock and it's still snowing. Looks like we're finally basically done. So beautiful and clean out here. It's amazing. Let's see how much we have. I think I'm going to say we're right around six inches, give or take a little bit, probably. Really nice snow. Really rare. Beautiful. Just walking around the neighborhood. What a winter wonderland. This is crazy. So just coming up. Snow is sparkly. Walking up in this little cold de sac right here. Crazy.
It's been two days now. I'm back out here and as you can see, it's a whole different situation. The snow is actually beginning to melt off. At my house, just a few miles away, we had around six inches of snow. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy time here in the south. The roads were icy. As I drove into work yesterday after the snow began to melt off a little bit, it was a little bit precarious, but not too bad. But now the roads are mostly dry. Things are kind of getting back to normal, but I thought I'd come back out here to this bee yard here in Midland City where I was just a couple of days ago and just show you how it looks. Um, I'm sure there was quite a bit more snow on the top of these hives here. You can see us melting off right here. You can see bees right here working. Starting to get out and move around. I think it's like around 37 degrees, maybe 38. Have a lot of dead bees down here. I hope that's not a sign of a dead out. I hope we don't have a starve out here. Let's just peek in here and see. Shouldn't have issues, but I don't know. We got bees in here, so that's good. Now let's see how big that colony is. I'm sure as, as the snow melts off, they'll clean house, get those dead bees out of there and get back to work. Let's just peek in on this cob right here where the bees were working a little bit. I don't have any gear on. There's a little bee peeking out right there. Oh yeah, look at that. So, they're just doing their thing. It's kind of crazy how they're working a little bit. As cold as it is, they're out trying to fly around a little bit. So we have bees here at the entrance as well. I'm sure that's just kind of something that happens. I'm, I've never had colonies where it's snowed before, so I don't know what to expect. Not a lot going on. I'm guessing the cluster is down below the food on this one. This one may not have been as highly populated. Hopefully we'll have to check on those after it warms up a little bit. A few more dead bees on the entrance. Let's peek in here. Oh yeah, check them out. They've about finished that fondant off. For those who say bees and fire ants don't get along, there's some fire ants there and the bees are right over there by them. No issues at all. Sugar ants can be deadly to bees. They can destroy a hive, but fire ants actually around here, <laughs> they live uh, pretty well with the bees. I can hear the bees. I don't see them in there. They're probably just down in another cluster a little bit lower. Once again, I think the bees have pretty much moved down. The clusters moved down a little bit. I see bees flying around here. Ah, I think they're probably down away from the food again a little bit. But you can see. Most of these colonies, look at all the bees flying over here. Like I say, uh, I think we're in the upper 30s out here and the bees are out moving around, flying, getting out of the hive some. These girls can get a little bit feisty, so I hesitate to pull this up, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, they got it glued down. Okay, look at all those bees. Let's check this one out. Oh yeah. So as you can see, it looks like the bees have come through this thing okay. We'll have to get out here and check them out here in the next couple of weeks when it warms up. Uh, looks like they pretty much have the fondant they need to get through in these colonies and we're just gonna kinda leave them alone. But what an event it's been here in Southeast Alabama with all the uh, snow we've had this is like a, a historic snowfall. I don't know if there's ever been this much snow here, about six inches, five to six inches. I probably we're six inches right here at this spot. Once again, for you folks up north, you're probably laughing at us because you guys get snow all the time, but down here, it's been quite the event. It'll be interesting to see how they fare as the snow all melts off. And uh, we'll just rock and roll with bee season. It's just right around the corner. It's been a, 
a fun experience, a unique experience, and a, a pretty a cool deal. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.